Karen Barnes and I'm Head of Product Development at Interflora, also the lead designer for Mark Wright and Michelle Keegan's Celebrity Wedding Flowers. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate that look and feel of the celebrity wedding for your flowers. Table centres are a huge part of your wedding day, often the focus of everyone's attention at the wedding reception. I'm going to show you two different options. Option one is for those that don't have a large budget, it's on a lower budget, very simple to recreate. And the second option is on a slightly higher budget and will take a little longer to recreate. So for this table centre, I'm just going to use gypsophilia and ivory roses. I'm going to cut the gypsophilia very short. Select a group of branches of the gypsophilia and securely tie them together. Once you've securely tied it, cut the ribbon short and then cut the stems of the gypsophilia. So I've added water into each of the glass cups and I'm going to then add and sprinkle a few diamante beads. Once you've placed the gypsophilia poses into each of the glasses, then I'm going to place a rose cut quite short into the centre and this will nestle quite firmly in between the gypsophilia. And once you've done that, then I'm placing each of the glass cups onto a mirrored plate. For added effect, I'm putting tea lights into tea light holders, then sprinkle some diamante beads in between the glass stems and finally as an added finishing touch, I've got these beautiful large diamante crystal And the second option, this table centre I'm going to create is a tall centrepiece and will definitely give you the wow factor in your wedding reception room. I'm going to start with using a small piece of floral foam. The asparagus fern I'm going to place at the lower part of the foam. Ensure that the stems are securely placed within the foam. Using three heads of hydrangea, I'm going to cut these quite short and place them securely into the foam. I'm now going to use a stilby, two or three pieces towards the centre of the foam and then bring the rest down towards the centre and then to the outer perimeters of the arrangement to give you width. I'm going to use roses now, the avalanche roses. Cutting the stems at an angle, place securely into the foam and then next place the dahlias around the arrangement so you're almost using them as a filler. So after the dahlias I'm going to use freesia. Place in between the astilbe roses and dahlias. Careful not to bruise the hydrangea heads. Using a tall clear vase I'm going to take some clear cellophane and cut this into equal pieces. The next stage is to scrunch this clear cellophane and carefully push the pieces of cellophane down into this tall slender vase. Next I'm going to pour water over the cellophane. This gives this beautiful crushed iced effect. Carefully place the arrangement on top of the vase. Next I'm going to attach some florist wire to crystal garlands. Add the crystal garlands to the underside so they hang down around the vase. And there you have it, a beautiful celebrity look. <laughs>